Hi Gobbles everyone, um, this is actually my first time creating an English video for this channel as well but this time this video is dedicated for everyone who wants to play Genshin Impact but they are currently using a device that does not support Google Play services such as newest Xiaomi MIUI 12.5 or probably a Huawei or Honor device that unfortunately doesn't have any GMS on it so maybe you have been seeing this error pop up uh, quite a few times about the data error, please download latest game file from official website and log in again with the error code about 31-4302. Now, this problem actually occurs when you downloaded the APK for Genshin Impact, which is not coming from the official version, which is coming from Play Store or the official MiHoYo website. But that's not the case for Android devices because we need to install from Play Store. So probably you have come through this video finding out that you have downloaded from a third-party provider that probably provides you with a sketchy version of the Genshin Impact. So yeah, MiHoYo service checks, it, checks in with your device and your APK and decided that no, you cannot progress any further because this is not our official application so yeah in this video I'll be discussing a simple way to um, fix this problem to remove this error and you can actually play the game again if you're actually from Indonesia you might want to see the Indonesian version right here but if not you can actually see that I've tested out I've tried it out and pull Ila from Genshin Impact previously on my other video which you can also find from the card up here or probably on the link on the description so yeah without further ado i'll tell you how i managed to install the global version of genshin impact which actually also the account that i've been using to test um, my gameplay with my other phones so yeah without further ado let's check it out Now, as you can see, I am currently playing on my Redmi K40 Gaming Edition with the global version of the Genshin Impact. It's currently running the version 1.5 and I'm playing with Eula right here. Uh, yeah, so I've basically installed the global version properly without Google Play services or GSM, in this case for Redmi K40 Gaming Edition. So how do I do that? Let's find out. First, let me tell you that you can't actually download you, you can actually download the apk pure version and the ku app version but both of them will result in the same way where genshin impact actually rejects your version of apk so in this case you should try the tap tap global version but fortunately for those who have downloaded the apk pure version and ku app version you can actually back up your files um back up your downloaded files through your Android system by going through the Android folder, data, and then try finding the com.mihoyo.genshinimpact. This way you can rename the, file, uh, the folder to something else, probably um, .temp. This is actually the way I do it in programming as well. So it will back up your folder automatically. And then you can just uninstall this version. The, the bogus version that I could say, the, the the one that cannot run Genshin Impact globally properly. You can just uninstall it, but in this case, I'm not going to uninstall it because this version is already the tap tap version. So after you uninstall the Genshin Impact, your file will stay as it is on your Android data folder with the .temp name right here, like this. Now, after you've finally downloaded the, app, uh, the APK from tap tap version, you can just install it properly, but on one note, do not run it first. Make sure to go back to your file manager and rename your folder back to its original name. Without the dot temp or something else, just make sure it says com.mihoyo.genshinimpact. Once you finish doing this, you can try and open up your Genshin Impact again, and you can actually play it in global version with ease and joy and everything that you like. So you will not be limited with the Chinese version where you should 
um, identify yourself with a proper identification card available only to Chinese citizens. You can also install it to play with your social media accounts such as Facebook, Twitter, or your MiHoYo account as well, which I'm currently playing with my Facebook account, my main account that I've been using to test uh, most of our games, most of our gameplays of Genshin Impact. And yeah, you can have fun with your new or old phone. <laughs> In this case, it's my new phone, the Genshin, uh, the, not the Genshin Impact, the Redmi K40 Gaming Edition, the normal gaming edition version. And yeah, I can still play it at ease and also test this, um, perform his performance, the Redmi K40 Gaming Edition performance with Genshin Impact in the global version, not the Chinese version, which probably not different. There are no difference between one another. So yeah, I can finally play the Genshin Impact on the global version. And yeah, this is also for everyone who wants to review devices such as Xiaomi's MIUI 12.5 smartphones that is releasing in China right now, not the global version, just the Chinese edition. Or probably those who are trying to play on Huawei devices without GMS all around the world, probably Indonesia as well, and then um, UK or anywhere you are. You can try it out, try out that method because I think TapTap -Tap Global is available globally as well. <laughs> Hence the name TapTap -Tap Global. You can find it on Google or on their official website. And I'm not endorsed by TapTap -Tap in this case. I'm just trying to share my experience and as well my um, flow on how to play Genshin Impact globally on a Chinese smartphone. Not as in the Chinese, Chinese smartphone. This one, my Mi 11 Global Edition, not the Global Edition, Indonesian Edition. And this one is the Redmi K40 Gaming Edition that is imported from China. That were that was imported from China. Now it's in Indonesian version as well. Um, and the email has been registered as well. So yeah, look forward to it. I will test it out for Genshin Impact gameplay as well, and probably give more insight on how this bad boy performs. So yeah, that's the end of the video. If you like the video and being helped by the video, you can help us with liking our videos, share our videos, and as well, and subscribe as well. Also, don't forget to activate the notification bell so you can be updated with our newest video anytime that we post any new videos. And you have, if you have any questions, don't be shy to drop your comments down below. And I'll try my best to answer in both English or even Indonesian, and probably a little bit of Japanese, even though I'm not sure if I can speak Japanese or even Mandarin. <laughs> but anywhere you are, if you want to try playing the global version, or come talk to us. I'll try my best to, to answer all your questions and all your insights, probably, if you have any. Anyway. <clears throat> and don't forget to follow our social media as well. Uh, it's at guigui.com. And we are also available on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and as well, uh, Twitter as well. So yeah, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a nice day. Very signing out. Bye bye. Oh, and also, what do you think about the English version? Should we make more English version of our review, or maybe we should just stick in Indonesia? Because even though I'm, I'm not sure if I'm fluent in English, but I'm pretty confident with my English. But I'm still not sure if I can speak English throughout all the review. I mean, my Indonesian language wants to burst out any time it is. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, and as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a nice day. Ferry signing out, and Redmi K40 Gaming Edition signing out. Bye-bye.